of all, the man is a great, great winner. And, and to allow people to understand how he won. See, he let you into his winning mentality, his winning mindset. He didn't care about your feelings as a teammate in terms of when we in between those lines. He cared about that you understood that mentally and physically you had to be tough and on top of your game. This is what we're finding out about Michael. Yes, he was hard on his teammates just like I was hard on my Lakers, but it's for a reason. He knew that it was going to be tough to win an NBA championship. That was Magic Johnson last night on ABC, Stephen A. Smith special, in which he interviewed both Magic and Shaq and many others talking about Michael. Here is Jay Williams with us this morning because we have some stuff to get into here, Jay Will, and it involves one of Michael's highest profile former teammates, and that is Horace Grant, who went on the radio in Chicago on ESPN 1000 yesterday and had some very strong comments in opposition to Michael sharing a story from his rookie year that received a lot of attention. Here's the first piece I want you to hear. This is Horace Grant. That is a, a downright, outright, completely lie. Lie, lie, lie. And as I stated, if MJ had a grudge with me, let's say, like, man, let's talk about it, or we can settle it another way. It's only a grudge, man. I'm telling you, it was only a grudge. And I think he proved that during this so-called documentary when if you don't say something, if you say something about him, he's going to cut you off. Um, he's going to try to destroy your character. My point is that he said I was a snitch, but yet and still after 30 or 35 years, he brings up his rookie year going into former teammates' room and seeing coke and weed and women. My point is, why in the hell did he want to bring that up? What, what's that got to do with anything? I mean, if, if you want to call somebody a snitch, that's a damn snitch right there. Right, to be very clear, that was in response to the idea that Jordan said that Horace was one of the sources that Sam Smith, the author, used in the book um, The Jordan Rules. So, Jay Will, what's your reaction to what Horace Grant said there? You know, I, I'm a little bit torn about it, Greeny, because there's two sides to every story. Obviously, Michael Jordan is telling his side of the story on things that he's seen. Um, and I, I know Horace has his side. From somebody who's written a book who talked about some of his experiences that I had in the league, I can understand that from Michael Jordan's perspective to a degree. I, I think the, the interesting part of this whole scenario for me is just the relationships that Michael Jordan has had with teammates and uh, I, you know I heard Magic Johnson allude to he didn't need to be friends with anybody um, but I, I just I, it just shows the volumes of how different the league is now as opposed to what the league was then and what the mentality is with win at all costs um, you're seeing a lot of broken relationships it seems like Michael has had with individuals you know Craig Hodges Horace Grant I know we'll get into Scottie Pippen in a little bit and some other players that um, you know in, in today's age uh, I, I think there's such a higher respect factor for the way people have to lead these days. It just shows a dichotomy between the two generations. I want to also put this particular issue into context. There's a lot of history between Horace Grant and Michael Jordan. And I could sum it Agreed. all up essentially to say this. At the heyday of the Bulls in their first championship run, the early 90s when Grant was there, the team was perceived by many to be Michael and Scotty and then everybody else. One of the people that perceived it that way, it was thought, was Phil Jackson, that Phil Jackson didn't respect Horace Grant's game enough. Horace Grant was very resentful through that period of time. He felt it should have been the three of them and everybody else. That definitely contributed to his leaving eventually to go to Orlando. And you saw it in the film. He went to Orlando. They came into Chicago. They beat the Bulls when Michael came back that year from baseball, and his teammates carried Horace off the court, okay? So you you don't think Michael Jordan holds a grudge against anyone. He holds a grudge against Horace Grant for that I, moment. You saw him creating stuff, Jay Green, Will. So I, there's history between those two guys. Can I, can I just retort real quick? So I, I will say this, because being around Michael Jordan, I, I've seen him bust chops, and I've heard multiple stories from reliable sources that he tried to do this multiple times with Horace Grant. I just want people also to know that Horace Grant is a different individual, Greeny. Like, he will challenge you back. And there were multiple times where Horace didn't allow Michael to bully him the way Michael was able to bully other people. So this friction started from the beginning. Uh, and, and there are a lot of clashes there. So I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, but Horace is, isn't a guy just to be ran over. Horace uh, will hold his ground and not let you force him down to the ground as well. Yes, 
I agree. Look, I can tell you from having been around them, Horace Grant is one of the nicest people you will ever come across. And Michael Jordan, I think, would be the first yes. to acknowledge he himself is not always easy to deal with.